Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Costco Canada shop with me. In today's video, I'm taking you on a quick walk around the store and I'm also going to be sharing a Costco haul in this video, so let's get right to it. We're starting this video off with the usual entryway finds and I wanted to share with you guys this wooden chair that I saw featured in the Costco magazine. It's here in the warehouse. It's $79.99 and it looks so modern and contemporary. I feel like this would be great alongside the pool or just in your backyard. I love that it folds up which makes it super easy to store away if you're not using it and again it's $79.99. Right now there's also these Wilson basketballs in the warehouse and they're on sale which is great because that doesn't happen often. They're $23.99. Next to that they also have this sport rack for your bike so you can just attach this to your car and you can put your bike on there and travel with it. It makes it super easy. It's on sale right now for $159.99. New in the warehouse at the very end of the month are these two pack of sleep dresses by the brand Black Bow, which they are in the warehouse quite often. There's lots of panties by this brand and other clothing items, but you can get this two pack of sleep dresses for $23.99. There's a couple color options to choose from and the fit looks super comfy. Next up and new in the warehouse at the very end of the month is this set of glass bottle hand soaps and these are only $16.49 and I actually think these would be a great gift idea. Next up we're going into some summer salads that are new in the warehouse and perfect for making your life easier. So I'm going to share some of those with you all and I'll be back in a little bit. If you're new here, I'd love for you to go ahead and subscribe. It helps my channel out and it also just means so much to me. Did you guys know that there were so many summer salads here in the warehouse? I literally had no idea that half of these things were here. I feel like a bunch of them are new this year to the warehouse, but this spinach dip I have tried before and it's actually really good. I definitely recommend that one.
This Mediterranean medley looks perfect for hosting. I feel like all the work is done for you. You literally have everything that you need and for $16.49 definitely makes life easy. I also saw this seafood salad in oil that I've never seen here in the warehouse before. I wonder if this is good. I like eating all of this stuff. So I feel like this would be something I should try. It's $14.99, it seems affordable. And I also wanted to share some ingredients that you're gonna need to make a recipe I found in the Costco magazine. They have this pesto pasta salad. And for this recipe, you need pasta, you need your cherry tomatoes, you need the pesto sauce, which I forgot to film to share with you guys, but the Kirkland Signature Pesto Sauce is always in the freezer section right by the produce or the fancy cheeses depending on your warehouse and it's such a great product to buy and just toss in your freezer so it never goes bad. You'll also need these mini mozzarella balls to add in the recipe and these are $7.79. Just make sure you change the water after you open it to use it. This is the pasta that I'm gonna be using. I bought this in one of my previous hauls and I did share it with you all, so check that video out if you haven't already. And I also wanted to share that if you wanted a healthier option for pasta, this chickpea pasta is available in the warehouse at $11.49. That's an option as well. Or if you're just a spaghetti lover, you can buy this huge pack of spaghetti noodles and have them on hand. You just get so much pasta for so little. But anyways, I am heading out to the garden center to grab a couple things and then I'm gonna head home and share my haul with you guys. At the beginning of this video, I took you in the warehouse and I shared some of the new items that they have in the warehouse and I also shared some of the new summer salads that they have. I told you guys in one of my previous hauls that I bought the seven grain salad and I wanted to show you some of the other options that they had available. So now that we've done a little bit of shopping and now it's time for me to share my haul with you guys. Before I go ahead and share my haul, I do want to take this time to remind you that if you're new here, I'd love for you to go ahead and subscribe. It helps my channel out. Also guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Costco shopping videos and hauls. You're getting two for one in this one and with all that being said, Let's get right into this haul. First up, I grabbed some laundry detergent. This Purex was on sale and I didn't want to pass up on the sale, so I just grabbed another one to stock up so I don't have to think about getting this while it's not on a sale. By the way, you guys, I'm not sure if you know this already, but the end of the month is such a great time to shop in the warehouse. There's always so many markdowns as they're gearing up for new products to enter in the new month. So if you're ever on a budget and you're just tight for change, I feel like the end of the month is a good time for you to shop because there's always going to be some sort of sale that you can take advantage of or some sort of special markdown that's going to be available that's going to definitely help on your budget. This week I grabbed some Honeycrisp apples and actually we've already dug into this bag. There's a hole in the bag because we couldn't wait. We wanted to see if they were good and these were good. It's a change because they used to sell this in a box and now it's back in a bag and also the size of these apples are much smaller than they used to be. However, a whole bag of good apples is good enough for me and I just need you guys to know that Honeycrisp is officially back in the warehouse so go on and grab it while it's there and fresh because that's not often as we all know. This week I also grabbed more lemons which is so interesting because we've been going through a lot of lemons lately. We've just been going ham on lemons in our water, we've been making homemade lemon tea with allergies and the up and down weather change and that crazy windstorm that we had recently. I feel like it's so important to just make sure you have like fresh ingredients on hand because when you're not feeling your best, fresh produce definitely helps get some nutrients into your body without like any extra, you know, preservatives and chemicals and stuff like that. So keep lemon in your house and ginger and honey, raw honey from a real farm <laughs> because times are crazy right now. Like allergies are just insane, you guys. This week I also picked up two bunches of organic bananas and for some reason this month I've been addicted to peppers so I got more peppers because we went through all of the ones that we got last time. So in the coming days I feel like grilling some veggies so I grabbed some eggplant because grilled eggplant is so good and I'm gonna actually add this in like a quinoa salad and meal prep it so I have it for the upcoming days so 
I grabbed some eggplant and I'm super excited to toss this on the grill. To go along with the eggplant, I also got some zucchini. We completely went through our bag of zucchini that we got last time, so I went ahead and grabbed more. I've been really enjoying sauteing it up in a pan. And I also love having zucchini on the grill. So make sure you guys come back on Sunday for my monthly favorites because I'm definitely going to be sharing lots of recipes in that video. And you don't want to miss how I make my zucchini. So stick around for that and make sure that you're subscribed, as I said earlier. Next up, I grabbed a two pack of this sweet kale salad. They used to sell it in one big bag, kind of like the Caesar salad kit I've been getting the last couple weeks. However, they decided to separate it and put it in a two pack, which is genius because this is one of those salads that there's so much in the bag and it's super hard to get through all of it once you open it, unless you're hosting. Like if you're hosting, you can use the whole bag and it'll be done in five minutes. It's a crowd pleaser. It's so good. It's delicious. If you guys like kale, you're definitely going to love this. And even if you don't like kale, I guarantee you'll probably like this because I know a lot of non kale lovers that have fallen in love with this salad and they get it now like every week or every other week. So anyways, a lot being said, I grabbed some of the sweet kale salad kit and I really appreciate the fact that there's two bags instead of one now. We also got more of these baby carrots. They've been so good lately and we always seem to go through them. Next up, I grabbed a container of spinach. I absolutely love spinach and I'm buying this specifically so I can get into the habit of making my green smoothies on a daily basis. So. This is actually going to go straight in the freezer in a Ziploc bag and this is just going to be for my green smoothies and it's just an affordable option you guys. Whenever you buy spinach, if you feel like you're not going to go through it, just toss it in your freezer. Toss it in your freezer, it's not going to go bad. Add it in your recipes, you know, your smoothies, your pastas, whatever. Add a little green to everything and you're going to go through it and it'll never go bad. Trust me on this one, frozen spinach is the way to go and green smoothies are so easy and nutritious and also super affordable because spinach is like crazy cheap. Don't go getting any ideas Costco and upping the price for spinach, I'll tap out at that point. <laughs> Next up, I grabbed a package of raspberries. They looked really good, so I picked them up this time. I also grabbed a package of strawberries. We've already gone through some of these. Like, it's insane. We were literally out of all produce in the house, and when I came home with all this produce, like, my family was just like, we need fruit now <laughs> and i was like okay you know so anyways grab strawberries and i grab some raspberries if this isn't the cutest package of peaches i don't know what is this week in costco they had two different packages of peaches they had this flat one in this plastic container and they also had like the square container that they normally sell and usually actually in the grocery store that's the type of container that they have too you know like the square one that is like about this high and you get probably like six peaches in there Anyways, I grabbed this one because they were cute and petite and I really liked that they were in this plastic container because it, I can actually see if any of them are moldy and bad and they all look delicious. We love peaches and peaches I think are in season right now or coming up in season so grab them while you can. They definitely make fruits a little bit more interesting and if you want to you can prep these, toss them in your freezer and add them in smoothies as well. Peaches are just so good. You guys, as I'm holding this bag of frozen strawberries, I have to give you a little bit of a backstory. So before I go to Costco every single week to shop for our family and to film all these videos for you guys, I always check what's in our fridge and freezer first. And I always go with a list and I use a notebook and pen for that because when it's in my phone, it's just, I miss things. I don't know how, but anyways, I went in with my list. I made sure I ate before I went to shop and you guys will not believe I picked up more frozen strawberries and we already have frozen strawberries. I don't know how this happened. I just must have been in like a smoothie spirit and was like the more fruit, the better. But anyways, I grabbed some more frozen strawberries. This pack is actually organic, so maybe my mind was just like, grab the strawberries and that's what happened. I literally don't know how I came home with this, knowing that I went through our fridge and freezer first and wrote a list and somehow, you know, it's just, it's hard. <laughs> Leave a comment down below to let me know if this happens to you as well. You buy doubles of the things that you already have and it just completely slipped your mind that it didn't need to be on your list. Either way, I'm not mad at it. This is going to be great for our deep freezer and whenever our other bag of strawberries is done, we'll be sure to already have some on deck. 
I also picked up this bag of frozen fruit. It's like a tropical fruit medley. So there's pineapples, mangoes, dragon fruit, and passion fruit. And there's about six little bags in here. So I guess it's like perfectly portioned. You just toss each bag in your blender with your liquids and stuff like that. And you pretty much just blend it up and go. I think that's how I ended up grabbing the strawberries. I noticed that strawberries wasn't in this bag. And I was like, oh, this would actually be really good with strawberries as well and probably that's how that other bag came home but either way if you guys have tried this before leave a comment to let me know i'm super curious to know if it's good uh the price is pretty reasonable and i love having all these tropical fruits it's super hard to get this fresh in the store i know costco doesn't even sell dragon fruit and passion fruit on their own so this is just a great way for me to not have to stop somewhere else and still get all the nutrients and fun fruit that we want in our daily diet. Oh my gosh, you guys, it says that this is actually great for sorbets, ice cream, and popsicles. So maybe that could be an experiment for me and the girls. We can try to make our own little popsicles and ice creams with this let's see maybe it'll be a hit they love sorbet so this is literally right up our alley this week i also picked up some salmon for dinners we love salmon hadn't bought any in a while i always buy frozen salmon from costco i don't buy fresh fish i just have like this thing where i prefer to get it frozen i don't have to prep it it just goes in the freezer it never goes bad and it makes my life easier with putting it away if you guys are like me and you feel like Going to Costco is a mission. Coming home and packing up your car is a mission. And now bringing everything inside your house is another mission. And then you still have to put things away. So this makes my putting things away stuff super easy because I just toss it in the freezer and I don't have to think about anything else. This week we also picked up more bacon and we actually toss our bacon in the freezer as well and take them out one by one whenever we need to go through them because we literally do one package in one time. It's crazy, there's four of us, but we love our bacon. This week I also picked up some salsa. You guys know in one of my previous hauls, I picked up some guac, but I realized I also wanted salsa to go with the guac and I need to make sure I grab some chips because I'm feeling like nachos and guac and salsa on nachos is definitely toppings that I get excited about. So this was on sale. I didn't want to pass up on the sale. It's gonna take me forever and a year to go through all of these, but that's okay got it on sale and right now every little bit that I can save definitely counts because the prices are just the prices you already know this week I also picked up some cranberry raspberry I was actually looking for just plain cranberry but I do like cranberry raspberry as well so this is what was available and I went ahead and picked it up I also grabbed more of the chosen foods avocado oil you guys know I love this oil and I literally just finished my bottle and I have my home without this oil is just not something that happens i just made sure i grab more this week i also picked up more of the iago drinkable yogurts for the kids we love this and i opened it up to put it in our lunch bag because that's how we roll they cannot wait for me to film my video i also picked up some more organic two percent milk and i got some tostitos i want to do nachos one night and again i got the guac and the salsa so i needed the chips and this week i wanted to treat myself to one of my favorite snacks so i grabbed more of these unreal bars they're just too unreal they're so good you guys have to try them if you like coconut bars I've already done a taste test here on my channel, so if you haven't watched that video, scroll back through all my previous ones, make sure you watch it because you're definitely going to want to see, and these are so good. I'm so happy that they're still available in the warehouse. This week, I also picked up some children's Advil. We were actually low on this, and I love getting this only at Costco because the price is way cheaper than anywhere else. You get two bottles in here. You get a big one and a small one, so literally, I keep one upstairs. I keep one downstairs. I just have them pretty much all over but tucked away so the kids can't get to it and I love getting it at Costco because the price is just unbeatable and I don't have to think about it again for a few months. It's just a great buy especially if you have more than one kid. It definitely makes it so you're not running through medicine like every five minutes and having to run into shoppers and spending like $20 on one bottle of medicine. All right, you guys, and then last but not least, I wanted to make sure I picked up this mascara. It was on a sale and the sale is ending at the very end of this month. I did not want to pass up on that sale because I'm actually running low on mascara and I do not like any that cause clumps or anything like that. I've always been more of like a natural look type of person and I feel like 
like these are going to give me the results that I want. If you look at the before and after, you can see that there's definitely a difference there with the mascara on. And I love that there's three in here. I won't run out for at least six months. This is how long it should last me. And this is what the wand looks like as well. So I'm super excited to try this out. I've never used this mascara before, but I have used a ton of L'Oreal products and I do actually like them. Super affordable beauty products and their products work really well. So I'm excited about this one. I'll keep you guys posted on it. And for a full review on this one, make sure you join my private Facebook group. I'm going to leave a link in the description box and I have someone there running the group for me. I'm there as well, but I do share a lot more in-depth reviews in that group. So if you're interested in more in-depth reviews, make sure you join. There's a lot of fun things coming to that group. It's almost been a month and it just makes me so happy. Guys, I almost forgot to show you these other two items that I picked up as well. I picked up some things to plant and I'm so excited to get these in the ground and get them going for the season. So this is what we have going on right here. I picked up these cherry tomatoes from Costco. I think these were $7.99 for six of them in there. And I also picked up these cucumbers. They're supposed to be English cucumbers and there were also six in there. And I think these are also $7.99. So I picked these up to add to our collection. And right now we are starting these seeds. So we're doing some tomatoes, cucumbers, and some um, peppers down here too. So this is what we have going on right now. Soon we're gonna be able to get these outside. I'm gonna start with these guys. And when these start sprouting and doing their thing, then they'll be ready to go outside too. And some of them also need to get covered up. They are definitely exposed. So I'm going to have to get those under the soil and make sure that they are planted properly. I thought that those were done way better. So yeah, this is what I have going on right now. And these are the other two items I forgot to mention in my haul. All right, you guys. And just like that, we have officially come to the end of this haul. Thank you all so much for watching and spending your time here with me. You know, it means so much to me. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.